once again, I'm Richard Moorcroft. Welcome to Letters and Numbers, the show where you'll think you're having so much fun that you'll hardly notice you've been thinking and having fun. So grab your pen and paper to play along and let's greet the team. First of all, she is the result of concentration multiplied by method and added to ability, Lily Cerner. Hi, Richard. Hello, Lily. How are you on this fine evening? I'm really good. I'm really keen to get stuck into those puzzles. We are too, so uh, great to see you. Also, please welcome our man of letters and our word referee, David Astall. Hi, Richard. Actually, you're looking very Johnny Cash tonight, very right. sort of man in black. I am the man in black and uh, ready to play. Great to see you, David. And to play Letters and Numbers tonight, we have our two contestants. First up, our carryover champion who's been doing so well, David Jones, a public servant who enjoys cricket, travelling and recently became an Australian citizen. What was the motivation to move from the UK to Australia? Um, well, apart from the obvious ones, Richard, um... I actually met my now wife in England while she was working over there for a couple of years and when her visa expired I asked if she'd like me to head over down under and uh, see what happened. It was romance. Excellent. The best motivation. Absolutely, yes. Well, welcome tonight and Thanks. good luck. And ready to challenge David is Beckett Rosenthal's, a fashion designer, art curator and history lecturer who rides her bike to work each day in high fashion and high heels. Welcome, Beckett. Thank you. I have to ask about the high heels. How do you, how do you manage to, to work with the pedals of the oh, bike? You just lock the heels around. It helps you ride faster. <laughs> Extra acceleration and exactly. grip. Exactly. Good luck tonight. Thank so you. So please welcome our two contestants, David Jones and Beckett Rosenthal. <laughs> As always, it's our first letters game to start us off. And uh, David, your first choice. Thanks, Richard. Um, hi, Lily. Hi, David. I'll uh, start with a consonant, please. Lovely. Let's start the day with a B. And another one? T. Uh, a third, please. D. Um, a vowel now, please, Lily. E. Another vowel. A. And again? U. Have a consonant, please. F. Another consonant. And a final consonant, please, Lily. And to finish, P. Thanks, Lily. First for the night, we'll start the clock. First word, David? Uh, six for me, Richard. And Beckett? I only got five. Five? Well, let's hear your five first, please. It was a small ducks. A small? D-U-C-T-S. Ducts, yes, David? Debuts. Well, ducts and a nice start from David. Well, you might be seeing C's there, Beckett. I can't see the C in there for ducks, oh. I'm afraid. Don't worry, that happens a lot, particularly with that first time when that clock is ticking right behind I you. no idea where no. I got that one from. <laughs> That's OK. Uh, and your word, David? Debuts. Debuts. Uh, well, shows a little bit more experience on your fifth night. The debuts is fine. And uh, updates is a possible seven there. And six points for David. Well, keeping up the pace at the start of the night, we'll move straight on to our second letters game. And Beckett, this time it's your selection. What would you like? Thank you. Uh, Lily, first of all, a vowel. Thank you, Beckett. Starting with an O. Uh, consonant. N. And another one, please. T. And another one. D. One more for luck. C. A vowel, please. E. And another one. I. A consonant. R. And another one, please. And to finish, V. Thank you, Lily. Here's the clock.
least one of your letters for luck. How did they treat you? Uh, not too badly. How many did you get? Um, six. Six, David? Um, try nine, Richard. Oh, we are keeping our fingers crossed for that one. That's very exciting if that's uh, come across the line. But uh, first of all, your six, Beckett. Direct. Direct. <laughs> very straightforward. That sounds good. But uh, David, what was your nine? Contrived. Contrived. Well, that, uh, that certainly deserves a round of applause. We have a superb nine. And we are always delighted when a nine pops up. David. Now, there's a beautiful irony to this, not just a uh, triumphant irony for David, but if you mix up Beckett's uh, direct, you get credit, and credit to David for finding it. And what does contrived mean? It literally comes from the French uh, trouvere to find, and it's essentially making the best of what you find. And certainly, David has done that with a wonderful nine. Congratulations. Absolutely great scoring, and of course, with nine letters, that means 18 points for David. So a very nice jolt of adrenaline, the first nine we've had in just a little while. It's time to move on to the next numbers game now. And uh, David, would you choose some numbers for us? Will do, Richard. I'll have uh, one large, please, Lily, and five small. One large and five small. Thank you, David. And the first set of numbers today, ten, nine, six, three, and another three. And the large number is 25. And the target to reach is 993. Thanks, Lily. Let's head for that target. to live up to after a nine letter word how did you go with the numbers i'm not so well richard i didn't get anything no oh that's a shame beckett i was not even close okay well a, a tough a one, one a very tough one to start the night so what did you think lily it was a definitely tough one and i think i might have to think about it over the break and get back to you well if it's that tough then uh, i'm not surprised that our contestants didn't get an answer so no scores uh, for the numbers round, but at the moment, uh, David is leading strongly on 24 as we move into our first break and our first word mix for the night. It is Cress Pin. And the clue, Beatrice and Eugenie. Back after the break. <laughs> 